So, well, bit of context here. So, in this page, my team's page, we are we are uh, displaying uh, the subordinates of of this user. So, we can share this information here. And the most important thing in 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 here is that behind the scenes, this is a this is a report builder system report. So, we are making some tweaks here. So, for example, instead of um, printing each cell, we are rendering a template here. And another important thing is that any plugin can extend this information. For example, here, um, tool program um, component is adding some information here, for example, the program name and the uh, progress of completion. Also, if this is an overview item for this user, and same for courses, jobs, and etc. Also, um, any component can extend and can add some some extra links here uh, to the full reports. And last but not least, um, the components can also add some warnings. For example, here we are we are seeing that some team members have overdue programs. Apart from from this, um, other thing I want to show is that. Uh, we are replacing here the the default filtering uh, that uh, comes from uh, report builder standard report builder so uh, we are printing here this quick filtering we are using report builder web services and also a dynamic table api so we are doing the same thing but you know uh, replacing uh, uh, with our custom ui and we, we can uh, so filter here only my direct reports um also only i want to show uh items when items with you learning or not um we can you know basic searching and and last thing where we can sort instead of uh, using this column sorting because we are not uh, printing the the um, column headers here we can sort uh, with this drop down and yeah apart from that um we are you know um uh, printing the these links for example here we can go to this report and we are sending the user to the to the full report so um they can uh, play a bit more with all the information yeah the the, the main goal is uh, to show that um we can you know with report builder api we can you know do cool stuff if needed and not only so in the the sometimes boring tables every time so yeah that's that's me so back to you emilio okay so the next uh big feature we want to demo is the uh, is the tenant colors that we generate automatically on tenant branding so over to you andres hi everyone so i'll start sharing my screen Okay, so basically, um, we before Workplace 4, uh, we have this uh, problem where all tenants probably will, basically they will identify tenants with coloring the entire navigation bar, and we end up having these like, chunks of color taking the majority of a screen view. In some cases, if tenant admins uh, were, um, for some case, a scenario they choose and not appropriate color, uh, this will take in basically, basically a toll on the overall end user experience, stressing the user with probably with unaccessible color palette. So in Moodle Workplace, we went for a much cleaner approach without these chunks of, uh, of colors and the, the option to set the entire navigation background color was removed and we're introducing now an algorithm that generates uh, great skills and improves the, the selected color in some case scenarios. So I'm going to demo that uh, in here. So first, I'm going to log in as an admin. Uh, I'll go to appearance. And then let's pick um, a very light color, for example, a very light blue. And then 
Uh, let's go to my color. And then, even though this is a very light blue, you'll see that uh, this um, option is selected. Let's let's go back and change maybe a darker. Here you go. So you you have this um, basically highlighted color in here and selected and uh, um, and in order to sort of like highlight this more, I'm gonna share my um, this other second. Just to clarify this. This example that Santis is showing is not applying the uh yeah. the the um, great the saves of great that we automatically generate. So yeah. It's just by like changing the color. I'm I'm gonna share this example here, taking in account uh, some popular brands. So you can see how it uh it works. So here we have Starbucks with a uh, green. The the branding color for for Starbucks is highlighted in here, and then the shades of gray are applied in the background uh, with a greenish, more uh, accent uh, color. And then Coca Cola with the red, the bright red. Uh, you'll see that the the gray um, in the background is changed as well. And then for Samsung, they have this bright blue and the greenish background for the blue is also taken in account and it gets applied to everywhere. Uh, not only the, the side navigation, but also all gray elements across the view. So yeah. This will be very short. So this is uh, something we uh, implemented in workplace uh, team, but for LMS, so we are planning to open source the report builder block, and it's all about configuration and using configuration in blocks uh, is could use some improvements. So basically, um, doesn't matter which user I'm, I am, uh, even though I'm showing it as an admin, when you um, change the block configuration, it appears in a pop-up instead of on a separate page. So you can modify something and it refreshes the page. It cannot refresh the one region yet. And another improvement is that when you add a block, um, some blocks can say we require configurations. So in this case, there will be like a little um, three dots appearing ellipsis of things called in the end of the uh, block name and for example when you click on the block like this the configuration form appears before you even add the block and it has all the required fields that it's supposed to have and uh, you add it and you add it immediately with the text um, so as i said we added it because we want to have uh, open source the report builder block and it's all about configuration without configuration doesn't make any sense um and it will just make it easier for both workplace and lms users so that was me thank you Adri has a question about this marina um okay well by the way this hasn't been integrated yet it's in the integration so maybe there is a chance that integrators say no way and I will let it through. So another feature we have added to this sprint is the ability to lock departments and position frameworks from the server space. Uh, this was a request for the, from the community team for the MEC side. And this is uh, with this feature, you can basically mark a department or a position as locked. So uh, users without uh, this permission, with permissions to assign jobs on, on the locked departments, they will not be able to use them. So Basically, if you want to create departments and positions just for admins to use them, uh, this is the feature you need.
So can you go to the next slide, please? Okay, uh, another feature we have added, this is the, the workplace part is actually in review, but uh, if we cannot make it for this sprint, it will be available shortly, uh, so early in the next sprint. So we have added a feature on a new setting on Mural LMS to configure the services as support link. Um, now, uh, and once that land, uh, we have another feature in workplace to make that setting multi-tenant. So you can define different service and support links for tenants. And the MDL part is uh, already uh, merged and we're working on the workplace side. Uh, next step, please. So we have also added a new dynamic rules to add to assign users to learning plans uh, that wasn't available. So this is the new action. And as you can see, you can you just need to pick a learning plan and the users matching the conditions will be added to that, will be assigned to that learning plan. Uh, next slide, please. And we have done other improvements, uh, a lot more, but just to mention some, we have big uh, fix about uh, importing position frameworks, uh, added filters to appointments, and added also in Moodle LMS, uh, relative date filters option um, to select dates before a given period. And uh, we fix all the bugs with uh, organization structure. So uh, next slide, please. I think it's the last one, Adrian. Okay, so from the discovery point of view, uh, we have almost really the direct manager feature. I don't know if we'll be able to start with the implementation in the next sprint, but if not, it will be in the sprint after that. And um, and from the learning catalog point of view, we have uh, finally a user story mapping um, that we have used to um, to define the scope for the very first two releases of the catalog. We're trying to uh, keep it uh, small and release something that we can start learning from and, and, and measure it and and that's the intention so the, in the in the very first release we're basically replacing the functionality of the course catalog in in mural uh, the slash course page with our new catalog and this is what we are going to add and start measuring and learning from <laughs>